Bert. Hi, I'm Bert, and I wear a hat, and don't mind the subtle construction noises outside. I've been hearing a lot about this Nexus Pro Blaster recently, and because I'm a sucker for peer pressure, I went out and got one. And I have to say, upon initial review, I'm not super impressed. I know people have been praising this thing left and right, but are they crazy? Are they all paid off? What's the deal with that? So I wanted to do something real important. That's what I find real important. I wanted to tell you guys the hard truth about this blaster and why you probably won't want to buy one. It's my uh, Dart Force Adventure Zone Pro Nexus review video or the, the five reasons that you shouldn't buy one. Yeah, that, that one. Let's start off with number one. Number one, the price. This blaster includes a few things in the box which we will get to, but overall it costs 50 United States dollars. I don't know, some of you are probably like, wow, $50? I agree. There's something that's gotta be wrong with that, right? What are they hiding? They've skimped out on some sort of uh, materials or quality there, uh-huh. I'm a Nerf boy, as you all know. Uh, it's Nerf or nothing, and we'll get to that later too. But I'm used to paying a lot more for my Nerf blasters. Frankly, if I'm not paying three figures, what's even the point? Can I even trust that the product is going to deliver? This coming in at half of the, the beginnings of a three-figure blaster makes me very, very skeptical. So you're telling me that this is the quarter of a Prometheus? It's probably going to be like a quarter of the, the quality, right? I know money is a big thing for people. And by a big thing, I mean you have to spend big money to get big results. I've criticized 3D printed blasters for their big money in the past, but retail blasters should cost big money. And because this doesn't cost big money, I have big concerns. Number two, too many pieces. This blaster comes with a lot of, in my opinion, unnecessarily included pieces. You've got this little sight up here, which can be lost really easily. You've got this sight back here, which can be lost really easily. That's not me trying to fling those off. They came off really, really simple. Uh, this stock, which they advertise as being adjustable, uh, I can also lose really easily. Uh, this muzzle uh, brake thing, is there an extra twist there? Can be lost really easily. You can also, if you have a, a screwdriver thingy, uh, I think it's a flathead screwdriver, if you unscrew all these screws, apparently there's even more stuff inside that you can lose. What's the deal with that? Like, I'm gonna lose all my stuff and then I'm not gonna be able to use this blaster. Seems like a waste. They should have just had one injection molded piece or they should have solvent welded these things together so that couldn't happen, or maybe taken out screws entirely and that way there's no chance of losing parts on this blaster. I think that would have been the right way to go because instead now I've got something that barely functions. Number three, weird ammo sizes. I like my purchases to be clear cut and pretty straightforward. So when they're telling me I have a bunch of different options and two different sizes of ammo, what am I supposed to use? Thanks, Jackhammer. Exactly, what am I supposed to use? They give me these weird, like, cut down dart things. This one, and then these longer darts. I'm used to seeing these kinds of sizes, even if they're a little bit different. They include both. Does that mean I can fire both? I don't know. They clearly don't tell me. And then they give me these, all of these magazine things. This seems like too many options. So if I try and real quick, this is an included magazine. Doesn't work. This one does seem to work. And then this one doesn't seem to work. With this one already installed, it looks like the, the longer darties aren't going to fit inside of it, but I could probably drop the half ones in there. So that's nice. Oh, okay, so the, the big one, big magazine works in there, and maybe this one takes the, uh, the short darts as well. It's not really clear to me, unfortunately, as to which darts this should take, and by giving me a few too many options, I think it's going to overall confuse users. If they had just stuck to one dart size, I think that would have been overall a much more advertising-friendly blaster, but 
Again, just my opinions. Number four, hits too hard. I already showed you that I was having problems loading this thing up, but when I have gotten it to perform, I've noticed that it's hitting a little bit too hard than I would like. As a mother of four, I'm usually looking for blasters that keep my kids safe, and this thing doesn't seem to do that. I don't know why they would put this on store shelves when literally no one has been asking for this kind of performance. It's shooting like three times harder than my standard Nerf blaster. Maybe two, I haven't actually checked because that's not important to me. But if I can't use this and shoot my children in the face without eye protection on, then I don't think this is something I'm going to be able to recommend other people buy. It would probably be a lot easier for my younger folks to, to prime this if it was a little less powerful. But because it's so powerful, it makes the whole operation harder. Now you may have seen that that looked pretty easy for me, but that's not important. See, that's just too hard. I can see my hand is is turning turning all red. It's it's really bad. I don't know how they could justify putting this out on store shelves when people who have no idea how to read won't notice that this says it's for 14 and up. Totally irresponsible. And number five, it's not Nerf. I've been circling around this point the entire time, but guys, the ultimate reason why I can't recommend this product is because it's not Nerf. As the saying goes, it's Nerf or nothing. Look at my shirt. I'm a big Nerf boy. This is not Nerf, and therefore I can't recommend this to uh, anyone. There's no other uh, rationale necessary there. I mean, the plastic feels okay. Trigger feels okay. But it's not Nerf. And that makes me very disappointed. I hope this helped you guys because there's been a lot of hype for this blaster recently and I just want you guys to know that it is not useful at all. Don't buy into it, don't go crazy. If you at least wanna tackle one of the issues I've talked about, you can go and look for some of the ones online that are being scalped. That'll allow you to pay for a lot higher price for this blaster because $50 is way too cheap. This clearly doesn't push the hobby forwards and I think, <laughs> I think I'm done here. Hello, Dart Zone. If you're watching this, please don't hate me. I'm just joking. <laughs>